Hi guys, my name is Debbie and I'm an intuitive reader and I'm here today to give you guys your daily general message for Monday, May 8th, 2023. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so if you are interested in your own private reading, all the information is down below in the description box below. So let's get started here. If you do like the paranormal, I do have another channel. You can check out that link down below as well as my new book, Accepting the Gift. That is also pinned to the top of the comment section below. So what do people need to know in regards to May 8th, 2023? Wow. I'm feeling in regards to possibly a twin flame, but there is definitely a home visit that is coming towards you or some kind of serious change for completion of, I just heard, wealth in regards to love here. You have the four of wands followed by the death card, the tower, and the eight, and the eight of wands here. Now the eight of wands is heading towards that tower. So this is going to be coming in suddenly, this change, this switch here. Uh, and I feel that you kind of need a moment. You have the devil right after that tower. It's like, whoa, wait a minute. You know, you don't have to be rushed into this, absolutely. But there is a possibility of some type of decision, I feel, that you have to show. And I do feel with that devil energy, they could literally be pushing you kind of um, uh, encouraging, but kind of pushy about it, okay? as well to make a decision to hurry up and take them back. And it could be a little overwhelming with this Nine of Swords. Now, to me, the Nine of Swords can also represent, not a, everybody reads like that, but overwhelming in regards to happiness. But I feel that that's going to be done after the fact that they came back and you talked and everything, and then you're going to kind of have like a meltdown here of not just pressure, but overwhelmingness because you missed them here in regards to this relationship. Now, the Two of Cups does represent a soulmate here, but still a strong connection. I don't know what to do. I do feel a lot of pressure on your shoulders as to what to do. Now, for both uh, two different situations, I feel that there's still a little bit more healing, that you don't like to be treated like a fool, because the fool card can literally mean fool, okay? They do have Capricorn here. You have Aries here. I do feel for majority, you will, I literally heard jump on this, okay? But I do feel that for others, I feel that there's some serious like thinking about things and the pressure of being pushed or, or you know, the sudden impact of this communication, this change coming in could be a little overwhelming and you need a day or two to kind of chill, relax and think about things. Yeah, see, Everything is going to be depending on your own situation. This is a general, but I do offer private readings if interested, but half are going to pick yes, half are going to say, well, eh, I need some time. That's not a definite no here, but I don't like the pressure, okay? In the same way, I don't like to be pressured into anything. Some are going to make that choice to say, no, nope, I'm not interested here uh, and walk away here. Let's do the other option here. Others are really going to have to think about that's what I feel with that magician You're going to have to think about it here and then respond back to them and, you know, agree, you know, and say, OK, we can work on this together and start anew with that Ace of Cups. So like I felt that in the in the spread itself. So let's review what we have learned. You have two home cards. That's what I was picking up initially with somebody stopping by literally at your home, your place. There's a decision that you're going to have to show action about. Uh, and I do feel that it could be very overwhelming how fast this is going to be coming in. Literally, I feel because this, you know, their backs ease towards each other. So you're going to wait and then you're going to think about things could be overwhelmed, uh, not just with that phone call, with the visit, but when it's done, you know, when it's all said and done. And then you're going to have like a really aha moment, kind of breakdown moment here. In regards to this relationship, regardless if it's twin flame or not, uh, or a soulmate here with this two of cups, you have a meaningful relationship. Some are going to say, nope, not interested, whereas others are going to be able to release that and go for it as well. Because the outcome is that two of pentacles, which is what I was picking up 
during this reading, but the outcome just basically says some are just going to say, no, I don't want you back here, where others are really going to have to think about it and get back to them and start it now. Interesting energy, absolutely. So that's what I have for uh, whoever this is meant for, for Monday, May 8th, 2023. Thanks, guys. Have a good one, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.